It is seven o'clock and I'm going to cycle to see a man who is alive today because of you guys. Now, exactly how I'm gonna get there, you're about to see in a minute. Um, it'll probably gonna take me all day. Uh, I conjecture that I may not even be able to get there today, but uh, I acquired bicycle yesterday. As you can see, it's a real piece of work. Now, the last time I did a bicycle adventure like this, it was across Zanzibar, and some of you said, hey, why didn't you show us buying the bicycle? So, I'll roll that footage right now. So this is your laundry man, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, I would never be able to cycle far on this. Max, like one kilometer. Wooden pedals. It's not really... I don't think you can get very far on this. Carpel! Carlsberg? Carpel! Ah, a berry. Okay, ah. no. I want a Carlsberg diet. I mean, this is obviously a really, really cool bike, but no couldn't go too far on this one. I've located an absolute beauty of the bike, but nobody here knows who owns it. You don't know the owner? It's a bicycle. Yeah, it's a bicycle. Yeah. It's beautiful. Nice. No, really I, I want to try it. Has it been here for a it's long a time? Zabi, I don't know. So it's not from this shop, not from that shop? I don't know. I'll go and ask. <laughs> How much do you think this one? How much to buy? 1100. 1100. 1100. 1000 rupees. Yeah, Nepali rupees. That's it. 10 karat, that's also inside. What? What's the bottom? How much do you think? No. I'm talking. What did you say? 1000. 1000 rupees. 18,000. 18, yes. What's that? Like a two hundred fifty dollar? Expensive, yeah. Yes. I'll show you guys. Wow! 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 He's got everything. Strong brakes. Got a rope here for emergency situations. You don't know the owner of the bike? Who 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 is the owner of the bike? Ah, the Asan. Ah, he go away. Yes. He go here. He go this way. Is yes. he, he coming back? Obviously, yeah. Maybe fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Okay, I'll wait around here. All right. I'll have a tea. You, anywhere play? Ah, I can have a tea right here. Okay, I'll sit here. <laughs> it's your cycle. Really? Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Hey, it doesn't look like you know how to use the bike. No, no, like, this, no. like what? Okay, show me. Do do a lap. Uh, like this, you know? <laughs> One hundred percent is not his. <laughs> That's not his bike, yeah. <laughs> oh, here's another classic. This waterman has an even better bike. Let's see. Let's see this one, huh? Hello there. This is your bicycle? Fine. This is your bicycle? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. How much? Ah, this one same, same size. Same size, huh? Same size. Wait, wait, wait. I want to have a chat. How, huh? how, how much is the bicycle? 10,000. 10,000, huh? Oh, okay. Could I buy it from you? Sorry? I would like to buy your bicycle. No, no. If I give you 10,000, you give me bicycle? This one? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I Wow, it's a real beauty. I'm serious. I would like to buy it from you. What about 15,000? Who? You. No, no, you said this is 10,000 on the other. It's 10,000. Yeah. But I give you 15,000. Now? Yeah. Uh, other? Right? We have a deal? I'm not going to China, I'm just going to cycle around Kathmandu. No, no, cycle something. You have uh, I want this bicycle because I like this man and I like his bicycle. This is also broken. 
Don't worry about the state of your bike. It's beautiful. It's perfect. <laughs> Looks fine to me. What, you mean because of this one? Yeah. So it's held together by a rubber band? Yeah. Well, oh, even better. It's beautiful. This one we have. You guys need to stop worrying. I'm trying to buy your bike. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Does it come with the water bottles or just this? No, this one. Ah, oh, this one comes off? Yeah. All right. Can I get one of these? This one? Yeah. <laughs> Does that come with the bike? <laughs> okay, you need this one, yeah? Yeah, this one not. All right, we have a deal? You want no? Yeah. <laughs> Do we have a deal? No. All right. Okay, okay. You can try, look. Yeah. Look, turn on the TV, right? <laughs> How much this one? It's 15. <laughs> okay, try. Try. You want to try it? I will try. Kine ani para ni ke? Ayo mo kaler dan so yai pasi ranjan mo. Ajara pasi pasi ranjan mo. Profit? I love it. Okay. Yeah. All right, we have a deal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? Okay, yeah. happy. He's happy? happy. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Yeah. Needless to say, well, it is the worst bike I've ever ridden. There's, it's not really, how shall I say, tailored to, to my height. But um, also Pradeep, the guy we're going to see, um, he lives in a hilly area. So at the halfway point, it's only going to be up and up and up. And I'm not going to be able to even cycle. I think we're going to have to walk next to the bike. But anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm up so early, so there's almost no traffic. Sun is just coming up, and uh, it's considering a morning swim in the majestic river that runs through Kathmandu. But uh, I think I'll pass because I'm pressed for time. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> Pit stop. Is this your bicycle? This you know? Get one minute you take care? Alright. This guy's gonna watch my bike while I show you uh, cows having a mating season in the middle of this market slash bus station. Hello. Hey how are you? Hi. This is your cow? No. No? Public cow. It's a public cow, yeah. so I can use him too. Yeah, all right. No owner. No owner. No owner. Hey cow, you want to come with Geraldo to China? Do they like to eat? Yeah, he eat a banana. I'll buy some bananas. Okay. Yeah, you sell bananas? Yes. What are they eating? Corn? Mokaido for starter. Mokaido. How do I buy this one? Hey, what, what is she feeding him? She's feeding uh, mids, um, mids but, but they, they like banana? Yeah, they I'll get some bananas then. Okay. Let's see then, feeding the cows. Ah, there we go. It's not his first banana. He's a pro. There we go. Gotta put it down, yeah? yeah? Oh, he wants one too. There we go. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna get a good thumbnail there. Oh, hey! Oh, look, a walking clothing store. Hello, good sir. What are you selling? 
Seems to be only women's clothing. Looks like an old medieval moat. Oi! Hello! People don't know how to react to my bikes. They're like, is this dude just insane or is he just a cool dude on a local bike? Interesting, so just by chance I stopped at this sign. It says Bhaktapur Cancer Hospital. I believe that is where Pradeep, who I'm going to see now, was treated. Man, that tractor. <laughs> that tractor just ruined the sound. Anyway, let's soldier on. Hey, Doggo. Want to say hello to the Chinaman? Totally indifferent. Man, maybe I should quit being, being Chinese. I just entered what used to be the kingdom of Bhaktapur, so Kathmandu was one kingdom. This Bhaktapur was a different rival kingdom. Ooh, doggos, let's see if they like me. Look at that indifference, just walking away. I used to be friend of doggo. This place is unreal. There is a coffee shop uh, somewhere around here which we're going to find. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Wow, you're training for the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can you jump that high? <laughs> wow, that's the next Olympic champion. <laughs> the one who made it, he's going to make the Olympics for Nepal. Starving. Two hours, so I'm a little ahead of schedule. It's like two hours and 20 minutes since I left. I think it's down here. Uh, two hours and 20 minutes since I left. Oh yeah, here we go. So, uh, but it's after here that it starts. It's been like slow uphill and some downhill. Uh, now it's gonna be just up, up and up. So I may have to just walk most of the, most of the way. Oh, look at this. Tallest temple in Nepal. Tallest temple in Nepal. The tallest temple? Yeah. That's really cool. Five story temple. Name is Natapola. Natapola. Nata means five, Pola means two. All right, thank oh, you. Nice to meet you. Awesome, nice to meet you. Let's find a place to park up this mean ride then. Maybe next to these. Uh... Nah, can't park this next to such low quality bikes. Mine is a classic. Let's find a different place.
Maybe up front. Okay, I'm gonna eat in the cafe. Yeah, eat here myself is my brother. I'm working in 30 years. 30 you, years. You worked here for a hundred years? Yeah, this time for 300 years old. Wow, and you've been here for a third of that time. What an awesome place. But this is the Cafe Harati. And we're gonna see if they have a... They can cook up a mean bolognese for Geraldo. Oh yeah, this is the spot. What's the name of this square? Is it Dur Durban? Tomori Square. Tomori Square? Yeah, Tomori. Metropolitan Monday. That's it, okay. Yeah. It's spicy. Yes. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Little? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One chicken chow mein. One chicken chow mein, yes. And drinks? Tea, please. That looks amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Wow, this is a hell of a portion. I was expecting a little, a little meal. This is massive. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir. Just like up in the mountains of, of Langtang, um, when you order a chow mein, you get like a mountain of food. This is gonna fuel me for the. Um, like I said, it's not going to be possible to... Hold on, the lighting situation, maybe like this. It's not going to be possible, really, to cycle um, much past this town. I'm going to be either be walking next to the bike or ditch the bike altogether. Hold on, is this... Yeah, okay, it looks steady. So, uh, this is going to... I really need, need to eat as much as possible. And then, uh, maybe around 2 o'clock or something, I'll, I'll be in this village. It's up in a mountain hillside. Uh, all I have is a little dot in Google Maps with a, with a uh, GPS coordinates. Uh, exactly, and supposedly there's no roads up there. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. But for now, chow mein time. And off we go. I'm powered up and ready for the rain that's about to hit. It's gonna rain for about an hour. There's nothing I can do about that, other than to soldier one. Well, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, you see here? This is barely uphill, and I'm struggling like a like a Greek politician trying to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to show you that my, uh, what's, I have a problem with the front wheel. I'm going to show you next time I stop. What happens if I use the brake or try to turn too hard. But this, this thing actually comes off. <laughs> Woo, that was close. My steering wheel actually comes off. They're like, what is going on here? Oh, look at this place. Man. I should come here and explore and make a separate video about this area. <sighs> this whole city is like that. Unreal. I promise you I'm gonna make a video here once I read up on the history. Go away, pigeons. I'm a Chinaman and I'll eat you. Hello, Mr. Hello. Hello. Yes, it's me. <laughs> oh, man. I've cycled about 10 minutes outside of town, that red brick wall town. And I think this is where they make the bricks. And it looks really damn interesting. Now let's see if I can if I can climb up there. Wow, this is this is, this is so cool. Man, I'm gonna show you guys everything. How are you? I'm fine. You're making bricks? I'll come up and have a look, okay? Namaste. <laughs> can I join you? See what you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I feel like in that movie. Not heavy? Can I try some? <laughs> I'm okay, how are you? I come to see how you make the bricks. This is same in, in uh, Bhaktapur, yeah? Bhaktapur. Yeah? Tangunaren. Uh, Tangunaren. Oh. Okay. What's your name? My name is Sajan. And you? My name is Harold. Harold? Yeah. How are you? I'm okay, yeah. It's very dusty in here. Oh, like yeah. I'm... I'm <laughs> oh, have a look. This is big, big factory, yeah. The big factory for yeah. the bricks, yeah? Big factory, 11 rooms. Namaste. Namaste. Ah, Lelo, Lelo is go seen. How many hours do you work here per day? Six. Six hours? Yeah. Oh, you don't get um, like a cough? No. No? no. It's normal? Normal. You're used to it? I'm too strong. We are too strong. You're too strong? Yeah. <laughs> but they're even stronger. They're carrying the bricks. Hello. Hello. What's that? Max, you. Max, on, Max. Put in Max your Put on mask? No, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. You, you, you don't like. This is finished. You don't like. Finish. Finished. You don't process. Process. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. oh no. Broken. Hold on. Let's see here then. <laughs> so, there one for the head. It reminds me of that movie Apocalypto when you come to that city and they're all making this white uh, uh, cement kind of thing. Ooh. There's even more interesting work being done up here. Hadi. Hadi, namaste. Quite sure how this works. What an operation! Ah, I see. Fire. Wow, so we're now on top of the fire. The ah. fire is under. That's why it's so hot up here. Okay. <laughs> so you see all of these? That's how they, they keep fueling it. And I tell you, it's hot up here. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Yeah, let's got out here. This is hotter than, hotter than Colombo. Back down we go. Uh, all right. Ooh. Nice to meet you. Oh man, I thought this was, thought it was at least gonna work, but no, he's getting tough. So this is uphill, the road is just, well, it's a little downhill here, but it is zigzagging up into the mountains. And obviously I'm going, I think actually I'm going over this one and then up another one. So, uh, oh, an abandoned building. Nope. There's nobody living in there. Also, the problems are piling up with the bike. 
Now, this thing just fell off. Not exactly, I think it was attached here to the seat. Anyway, this seat is also really coming apart. But the biggest problem is this. If I brake hard, this happens. You can see. Also, if I'm driving, if I'm driving too fast, this one, my steering wheel comes apart. Jesus. Sure. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, this almost looks like an old, like you see in the mountains in the Pyrenees. People, people live like this. Or in, uh, in the mountains of, of Sicily. What are you doing? Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> you could, all right. I'm confused what you're doing. <laughs> I'm with Kura Putina. Kura Putina. Putina. All right. Good luck. Gaila shotar gaila. Gailar. Mm. All right. Good good luck with the Gailar. This is a miracle. Hey. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. They accept me even though I'm Chinese. Hey, puppy. Hey. <laughs> you know what? This is the perfect wedding gift. And it's so cute, this one. And he seems to really have taken a liking to Geraldo. You see, he's so well behaved. Yes. Do you want to be a wedding present? <laughs> Obviously, I can't really film as I walk with him and the bike. But uh, two hours and you're going to have a new mountain home. <laughs> Man, I feel sorry for the other three back there. But yeah, someone else is going to pick them up. Some of the villagers like living around here. So I spoke to some people there in the intersection. Other people were stopping too. And they say someone has just dropped them off in that turn because they're not, it's not like they were just born yesterday. Uh, and at the same time, look somewhat well fed, but who knows what happened, right? For some reason, the owner just didn't want them. Okay, we need a pit stop. This is harder than I thought. Also, when was the last time he had a drink? Here. He's not thirsty. He also seems very scared. I put him on the ground and he just he just lies down. He doesn't want to walk around, so you just wanna be in the safety of Geraldo's pecs. That's okay. Okay, on we go, man, it's hard with the with the bicycle. Whoa, Doggo, who have, I have yet to name. We are on the top here, and now it's all downhill from here. Uh, and I'm gonna put you guys down. Look, we made it. I think we have a wind situation. We might have ruined the sound, but anyway, me and the Doggo, who is yet to be named, are on top of the hill, because you can see there, it's downhill, and then in front of me, it's also downhill. And here is a monastery. Namaste. Ah. Hello. Nice doggo, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give him a name? Yeah. <laughs> it's a wedding present. Yeah. 
He's a beautiful dog. Oh, he's been eating crap, huh? Okay. That one. Oh, okay. He's been eating. He's been eating like dirt, like this. Hey, you trying to bark? Anyway, we're going on a downhill adventure, and Dogo's a little nervous. So am I. There we go, Dogo. Yes. Let's see if he wants some water now, like he didn't before. So, here, Dogo. You see, he just want to chill and hide. He's very afraid, so. You guys go down in the bag, and then me and Dogo are gonna cycle downhill. <sighs> Wish me luck. Rati Devi, <sighs> we need it. <sighs> Dogo, come on. Downhill, Dogo! Just keep filming, yeah, yeah. Is it still filming? Okay. Because of him. What's your name? I am Pogas. Pogas, thank you so much. Okay. Pogas. That's yeah. the same name as a Roman emperor. Yeah. Yeah, all right, thank you. Okay. Well, I thought, unless I had visual proof that I am actually cycling downhill with Downhill Doggo, maybe that'll be his name, Downhill Doggo. Anyway, he's doing fine. And uh, he's not afraid, of, afraid at all. Come on, Downhill Doggo. Down we go. Namaste. You just saw me drive by with downhill doggo, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking back. That's awesome. Thank you. I keep running into to um to people that can help me film, guys. So, uh, that is awesome. Could you hold this for a bit? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, very, very. I made, I found him like behind the other mountain. Oh, it was left. In the yeah, left. four of them. Four of them. But I can only take one. So, oh, okay, that's, that's all but right. he's, he's very cute. So my plan, the reason I stopped here was I was going to sit there and look at the view and the river with Downhill Doggo. That's his name. Uh, what's it? You want the name of this river? No, no, his name is Downhill Doggo. Downhill Doggo? Yeah. So you name him? Yes, because he <laughs> likes to ride downhill. <laughs> I came on this bicycle indeed. Yeah, it's a bit beautiful. Seven o'clock, it's a beauty, right? Yeah, very beautiful. Bicycle. Do you want to trade? <laughs> bicycle for a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I could race, I could. <laughs> I can't cycle because I'm holding the camera. You know what? It's not the scenic location I initially suspected it to be. Man, look at this garbage. I'm sorry, downhill doggo. Your first beach adventure is going to have to wait. So... Actually, we're here. Let's check it out. Maybe he likes water. This could be such a nice and pristine river if people didn't throw garbage in here. He just doesn't want to leave at all. Oh, there we go. Yeah, go explore. Finally, he drinks. Now, as to the quality of the water, yeah, you can see, but I mean, this would be the kind of water dogs like this would drink anyway. So who am I to, to judge that he doesn't want bottled water? He's really thirsty. I mean, there was no water source at that, at that uh, halfway up the mountain where I found him, so. Are you drinking the water too? No. No? Only dog? Yes. Dog is okay? Okay. <laughs> come on, come on! Ah, are we going home? Looks better after a little sip of water, right? <laughs> the road has taken a turn for the worse. But downhill Dogo, his spirits are high. Oh, 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 oh. 
if, you, if you're going to be a doggo, this is what you have to contend with. The reason I'm not putting him down is he wouldn't want to leave my hand anyway, so... It's okay! <laughs> Your dog? <laughs> stop, stop, stop! Ah, is your dog? Oh! <laughs> your dog? Yeah. They bite? No? No, no. Is it okay? Can the dog drink some water? Ah. Here, we're gonna see if you wanna drink some actual clean water. Yeah, dog water, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's very thirsty because it's very hot. And we travel very far. What's the name of your village? What name? This name? Nala. Nala? Oh, okay. So it's the same as uh, Nala is the city. Nala, Nala town. Okay. Yeah, because down there was also named Nala. So I, I've walked maybe like... Vanipadala. Vanipadala. All right. Vanipanala. Vanipanala. Okay, so I walked maybe like one kilometer, max two, from Nala to Vanipanala. <laughs> okay, any water for Dogo? No. Oh, it's too difficult for him to drink like that. Yeah, I think he... I want to see if he drinks clean water. Like a... This? Yes, maybe... Oh, it's too big, yeah. Okay, we can try. Oh, no! <laughs> he doesn't like clean water. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah, this is not easy. But I... Oh no, a big dog. They're gonna get angry. Hey, whatever, whatever. Hey, whatever. Ooh. Ah, uphill. Actually, this is the last stretch that's downhill. Fuck, there is so many dogs here. And they're going nuts. Ah, yeah. Heraldo gonna get attacked. Check this out. <laughs> like five dogs are not too happy. <laughs> Namaste! Oh, even the guys don't say hello. Huh. Ay. Downhill Dogo is naked. He is passed out. I mean, God knows when they... Uh... Oh, hey! Old camera woman! <laughs> she helped me uh, with the camera down there on the bridge. All right, I'll come here. New camera woman, and it's not easy to to, uh, to explain what I need because there's no English. But anyway, very rural. The road here is just dirt, and I'm going up there, up there in the hills in that community. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Look, he's getting more and more tired. No so, English. So sleepy. No English speaking. <laughs> no English speaking. But she's a good camera woman. Are, are you from here? Yeah, your house is up there. Yeah. Oh, nice, oh, nice. What's the name uh, of, of this my, place? My, uh, my horse, dog, a small dog. You come, 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 dog, come. No, you're not stealing downhill, Doggo. <laughs> <laughs> Doggo thief. We already had the the, the Heineken thief in, in, in Sri Lanka. I think he found his position. Look at that. Yep. Come. Oh, yeah, downhill doggos hit with the ladies. Yeah, hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah. yeah. What's up? This, this, other. this, this man other wanna. In... Yeah. This fella. How, you... How long <laughs> well will you stay here? I'm going up the hill, up there. Yeah. To, to give, give the dog is a gift, wedding Who gift. Who are giving it? I'm giving to my friend. He got married. <laughs> my friend married. Yeah. Very my good. friend dog. How... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like dog? <laughs> yeah. Right. You like dog? Yeah. I like cat, but I also like dog. And cat. sometimes public cows. Cat, cat, my host. Cat and dog. You're hosting a cat? 
<laughs> That's awesome. Look, they'll go another river. Oh, oh man. There's so many interesting people, just like here. Hello. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. What are you making? I don't need a mustard Ma plant. Mustard plant. Oil. Okay, oil. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going up there in the village because my, my friend, I'm going to give a dog to my friend. Yeah. <laughs> could, could you help me out? Could you put this one in my back? Yeah. Hold on. Just in, in the back. Hold on, I'll turn it off. Okay, bye-bye, guys. She's going to help me so I don't have to remove Doggo. See you up there. That was quick. Oh, no, listen. Hey. 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 Wow. He's shaking. He's scared. Anyway, back in the bag you guys go. Me and downhill Doggo are going to go uphill. Tell you what the houses up here like this one it's just got so much character i don't know if that comes out in my shitty telephone namaste thank you thank you great great thank you so much i may i'm making an executive decision look at these houses all the the scenery, the mountains, so I'm not able to vlog properly as long as I have my right hand here with the bike and then I, that's my vlogging hand and then Dogo here so I can't show you like I'm walking past these amazing houses you see this incredible scenery up here so it's time to hide the bike here here we go <laughs> the problem though is people ah, ah. It's impossible. I need my vlogging hand. Okay, so granted, people will see why. I'm gonna put my bike behind these stones, but then everyone here sees me going up here. Oh, hold on, am I filming? Yes. Uh oh. Whoa, not easy. Oh, oh man, I'll show you. I'll show you what's happening. As I'm walking up here. Yeah, I'm sinking. Hold on. This is impossible to vlog like this. Oh, boy. All right. Look here, look here, look here. Look at this. Oh. Away from you, away from view. And my, my vlogging hand. Hello! Okay, I put my bike there for a little bit. I put my bicycle, one hour. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's going to be more than an hour, but granted everyone saw that I <laughs> made my way up here. Look, here's my, oh man, my shoes. Anyway. Now, that they saw someone put the bike there. 
they're probably going to be more likely to let the bike stay there. So, hello, is okay my bike there? I cannot, I cannot carry my bicycle. I put my bicycle there, like a one hour, two hour. You think it's okay? Yeah. All right. All right. You promised. All right. Have a good day. Bye bye. Well, he promised. My bike will always just still be there when I come back. Now, ooh. Hey, sending off salute. <laughs> Look, Dogo, your new home. Isn't it beautiful? Are you excited? Man, he's been on that arm now. Oh, it's got to be like three, four hours. Anyway, we're going all the way up there. All I have is a is a dot on a map. I don't know what the house looks like and also was it Pradeep his name? Doesn't know I'm coming. He knows that Sunil is coming. Sunil will be leaving from Kathmandu when I call him. Actually maybe I should call him now. And then if you drive on a highway from Kathmandu you can probably be here in I'd say it's two hours so then I get one hour up there alone. Dreaming. Let's walk. Man, when he sleeps like that, it looks like I'm walking with a dead doggo. Doggo, wake up. waking up. There we go. That's better. It's good to see up here the rivers. There's no garbage here. It was just down there. Up here I think downhill doggo will be having a clean mountain Himalayan drinking water. Oh man, I had shade for like a minute and then no more shade. Man. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. I'm guessing it's rice. Ooh. But yeah, and then as you go higher and higher when you're on these hikes, or treks, this is not a hike. You you just look up and it's just, it's more and more beautiful and then you regret like wasting half your battery time filming way down there where when just the higher and higher you go, the better it looks. Anyway, we're getting up there. Man, there's a way, way, way far to go. Yeah, yeah. This is how we gotta roll when there's no camera people around. Oh man, don't go. What a place. Your home? Your home? What name? Name? Vinda Vodagaya. Vinda Vodagaya. All right. Your new city is named Vinda Vodagaya. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> I think, you know, he's coming more and more alive. The higher up in the mountains we go. Now keep in mind, it is still, so just looked on the map, it's still like an hour 
to this dot so it's like way up there well look you have goats you can have goat friends the cows so we're so cool about these rural communities all the animals the livestock up here and <laughs> your goat yeah ah you can be friends with that goat and this family new home <laughs> what's that Next time I do this, I should have a camera, man. So I can literally just film everything. Look how cool this house is. Namaste. Namaste. Oh. These are your cows? My house. Your house, huh? Ah, right. oh, all right. I was kind of hoping those cows were public. <laughs> They're not public, yeah? Yes. Come, come, yeah? All right. What's your name? Uh, Dinesh, what's going? Dinesh, nice to meet you. Yes. Oh, I'm coming, uh, my friend get married. So I'm bringing dog. The, the dog up to the mountain. Yeah, my friend live yeah. up there. Oh. Come, <laughs> no, come, he come. he's very afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's look at your goats, yeah, huh? Go, go, go. Ah. Ah. <laughs> my arm, I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger has been in that position for at least five hours. Look at that. He's beautiful. I two days. Two days, huh? Oh, three days. Yes. Three days? Yes. Oh, I see, I see. Oh. Huh. How long have you been up here? You're born here? Yes. Your hometown, yeah? Oh. Huh. Huh. Hey, goat. Do you know Don Jr.? Cow. A cow, yeah, cow yeah. Cow in goat. I was just going to tell the, the goat that Don Jr. is now a traitor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I don't want to step on you. Oh, it's Do you want to say? Boo boo hee. Hey, Cow, cow, cow. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's hungry. All right. <laughs> Sad. This dog don't have a mom. Dog. No mom. Yeah. We I find him in the road. Milk. Yeah, but he no have a mom. No family. I find him on the road. Uh, yeah. No family. He's a. Uh... Yeah, no family. So uh, I find new family for him. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, give him some business. Oh, Coca-Cola. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, thank you so much. That's the best Coca-Cola ever. Do you have another chip? Enough. Do you like the dogo? Yes. Huh? Wife? Yes. Yeah? Children? Children too. Hey, don't steal my dogo. Yes. <laughs> no. His name is. Yeah, he feels a bit. He's tired. Sad. I find him in the road. I find him in the road in, in Nagarpur to Bilihil. Close to Bhaktapur. Bhaktapur? Yeah. I cycle from Kathmandu today. Cycle. I bicycle. put my bicycle down there. Down here. Down there. And now I walk because I want to be able to film with my camera. Ah, please. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I'm never going to get to this place. Please. Yeah, I'm going over, up the hill, up the mountain. mountain. And then another mountain. It's Kashiwa, then. Yeah. Mountain. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Bye bye. <laughs> when I'm coming back down, I will have a friend. Thank American you. Nepali. He, then we can speak. Uh, we will have a tea. tea. Maybe yes. maybe like a, oh, two, three hours. Okay? okay. See you tonight. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah. I'm going to take Sunil when we're walking back here. And we can have. Man. Hello. <laughs> wow, he has a. He has a hay igloo on the top of his roof. 
I'm going to show that with my iPhone right now. And then we can have a tea with him and have a, a chat. He seemed really cool. Look, there is the, the hay igloo. I like your house. My house. Yeah, you have an igloo on the roof. Oh, All right, we'll have a tea there when I'm back. See you then. Bye bye. Hello. <laughs> Is it possible to block like that? <laughs> okay, turn it upside down, then you can see me in Dogo. setting up that shot test <sighs> need to catch catch my breath again I'm on a different mountain and I guess this is time well I mean there still is a sort of a road here but yeah. my phone stopped working so Yeah, I have a map in my head and I'm pretty good at that. So I knew I was going to turn like I, I came from there. So I knew I had to take like a loop kind of on top of this hill. So this, I must say, is just the most well-behaved doggo in the entire world. When I picked it up, I thought, wow, it's going to be problematic. But I think we're coming up on three o'clock now. I think I found him around like 9.30. Mm, yeah, around 9.30, 9.45, something like that. And he's been chilling on my arm ever since. I don't know how many uh, times I have thought there's been an hour left, but I think we're getting very close to Dogo's new home. I'm guessing around or over that mountain top. And then on the other side, that is where he's gonna live. With one, with uh, the Leo Foundation's 15th person uh, that they funded cancer treatment from. And that's ultimately what this video is about. Where are you going? Home? Home, huh? Oh, okay. You're home there or you're, you're home over there? Oh. Home there. Ah, okay. I'm going with uh, Dogo. He's home there. Yeah. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's see if he wants to drink. Fresh water. Dogo. Sleeping. 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 Thank you so much. Wow, look. She held the camera and she's carrying all that on her head. How many kilo? Yes. Yeah. Very heavy. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you for the water. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, Man. Doggo, don't act dead when we're meeting new people. What's wrong with you? Hello. Popular. Yeah, it's my doggo. His name is... Uh, dog. His name is down Downhill Doggo. Downhill Doggo. Okay, dangerous woman. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, the adventures that I could have in these countries if I wasn't so. Get off my lens, fly. If I wasn't so dumb with languages. <sighs> yeah, and I know most of you are like, oh, yeah, yeah, I have a problem with language too. Well, dude, I could remember it was hard to learn Norwegian. I remember, like, trying to learn how to write was like a real pain in the a hole. Uh, and I don't know, like, any rules. Like, if you ask me what an adjective is, like a substantive or 
don't know. Uh, in fact, I'm impressed that I even speak one language. That is an accomplishment, given how my brain is with memorization. Where was I going with this? I don't remember, but at least we're going forward. Oh man. So I mean, it may very well, oh, chopper. It may very well be that I'm supposed to be over there. I just don't know. I'm guessing I'm on the, on the right trail though. The weather is so nice and cool up here. And Dogo's coming alive. That's what I was saying. Don't act dead in front of people. They think I'm a bad Dogo owner. Whereas in fact, I've carried you further than probably 99% of dog owners have ever carried their dog. So take that, you damn dog abusers. Look, look. Your new home. Look, check out the view. More interested in my titties. Maybe he thinks I'm mommy. Oh. Are you coming alive? No. He just moved up to bury his head deeper down in my hand. Oh. Good thing I had that chow mein in Bhaktapur. It's powered me up until now. Hey, you waking up? Is that a no? I'm guessing that's a no. Man, these hills are as awesome as those I saw in Vietnam. Ah, hello there. Hello. How are you guys? I'm fine. You're I'm fine? Yeah. White wine, I am fine. <laughs> I see your blogs. Many you see times. my blog? Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Many times. Out here on the mountain? Yeah. Uh, one time in Dulikel. Oh, think. that's how. I'm not too far from Dulikel, right? Uh, Dulikel is behind this mountain? Yeah. You saw me at the resort, yeah? Yeah. Eating that food? Yeah. Wow. Uh, blogging about the uh, uh, high range of. Uh, name is. Sorry. Oh, where do you stay there? Langtang? Not. Ah, you mean at the hotel up there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you for watching. Hit the bell button. You're okay. <laughs> Safe drive. Uh, cool. cool. Imagine. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Imagine meeting viewers up here. But I guess I'm not that far. If Dulikel is over there, that's uh, on the other side of the mountain. I vlogged a hotel once. I can't believe I've trekked up all this valley and this is just, see the road there? Up and around, behind those there, then left up there, and then down around here. And I mean, this is just in the last hour. Coming up on, it's gotta be, it's more than seven, seven and a half, maybe more hours since I left this morning. Kathmandu. Just rounded what I thought was the top of the mountain. I was wrong. It continues up and up and up and up.
Should we take a little nap? I just looked at the time, so it's 3.30. And I reckon this is as good a spot as I'm gonna find. So we do like this. Yeah, my back cracking. Ooh. Oh man. Oh man. How are you doing? How are you doing? Isn't he just the cutest dog? It's gonna break my heart to actually give him away. Not once. Not once has he acted up. Not once. I thought the problem was going to be he'd be running around. You know, if you try to carry a cat for more than one meter, you know, the cat goes nuts. But he's he stayed on my arm the entire day for yeah, well over six hours now, or exactly six hours actually. We've been racing downhill, uphill mostly though. This turned out to be an amazing adventure though. It was mainly going to be about the cancer survivor. I thought maybe I'd get 20 minutes of footage. And then have an interesting story, because if I just make, if I just film, you know, something about cancer, people don't care. But if there's an adventure to someone who survived cancer, well, people will watch and yeah. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, but it turned out to be, man, I'm not even sure if this is one video or two videos. I like to keep things in one video, even if it's over an hour. We'll see. But, and still, we have not reached the destination. I'm gonna lie down again. Signing off. I don't think I've signed off once, once today, so let's sign off. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Sleep in the beard then if you want. my beard buddy is that enough mud in my beard what do you did you legit pass out there man weirdest sleeping habits I've ever seen oh you just realized there was no mud are you trying to fall down ah oh, there's not a dog Oh, that's why it's going nuts. Oh, oh no. Wow. Look at the toilet habits. He ran away from my face because he wanted to take a dump. Or a piss. Wow. <laughs> and then he's coming back. <laughs> I thought you were going to attack the other doggo. You want to come back up? You want to come back up? <laughs> oh man, imagine if it pissed in my beard. You really are the most polite doggo ever. That was awesome. Thank you for not pissing in my beard. All right, should we go? Should we keep going? Should we keep going? Yeah, let's get a move on. So here's the thing, he's really coming alive up here. And I think he's feeling a lot better. Whatever. Yeah. Let, I'm gonna start to walk a little bit. I'm gonna see if he follows me again. Come on, buddy. 
Come on. Let's see. Wow, it's all these exotic smells and so on from me up here. Hey, are you coming back to the Northman? Hello, buddy. Hey. 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 What an awesome dog. Yep, yeah, I'm going to lift you up again. I'm going to have to start. Prad oh, man, I'm so bad with them. Pradish Lama. I'm going to have to start asking people, I think. But man. Yeah, this is confusing. Left or right. Hello. I'm looking for Pradish Lama. Ah, hold on. All right, thank you. Yeah, so this is the road. <laughs> it's getting better and better. Now they know his name and yeah, I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly, but Pradish Lama. Wow, I can't believe that doggo is going to live here. This is like, wow, Norwegian looking trees. Activate roller high camera traveler Gabriel mode. How do you like that version? Do you going to be running around here, downhill doggo? Look at all these downhills you can you can run up and down. All right, back to roller camera Gabriel traveler high mode. Downhill doggo is like whatever. It's a new dog in town. This place is just, <laughs> yeah, beyond, beyond awesome. It could be there, because now I'm on the other side. I'm going to go and ask, how do I go down there? and either it's here or they will know because they'll be neighbors. So keep in mind they know that Sunil is coming at some stage today. They don't know that I'm here. Oh they already hear me. Hello! <laughs> is Pradish Lama here? Pradish! Hey! How's it going? <laughs> this is Pradish, guys. I hear you got married. You got married? Yes, yes. Yes? yes. Congratulations! Here. And also congratulations on, on surviving cancer. I brought a gift for you. Would you like a dog? Yeah? Yeah. Here. Take him. Take him. You have the best view in, in, in Nepal. In Nepal, yes. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hello. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> so who, which is your wife? Who, who is your wife? This is your wife? Me. You, okay. 
Congratulations on, on married. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just I'll just walk around a little bit, yeah, and then I'll I'll uh, then we can talk more about how he survived cancer when Sunil gets here. Do you like the doggo? Yes, <laughs> I love him. So I give it a name already. Uh, name? His name is Downhill Doggo. Down. Downhill Doggo. Downhill. But if you want to give him another name, you can obviously give him a new name. This place is so cool. They have an out. Uh, should we do a little higher investigate? Toilet. So I don't have cell reception still, but she does. So she is called Sunil. All right. I rate it functional. Huh. Hey, goat, why are you following me? Ah. Now that, you see, <laughs> Doggo left me. Now, I'm gonna bring the goat back to town. And we're gonna to go to town too. Oh. What a beautiful house. Yeah. Your house is really, is really special. How, how long have you had the house? Is new? New. New? new. How many months? Uh, 12 months? Mm. Or two months? Two months. Two months. So you're still building, you're still making, mm. yeah? Are you going to make two floors, one floor, and then one more? No, uh, one floor. Just one floor. Mom's, uh, <laughs> and brother, uh, husband. Okay, great. Well, congratulations. This place is fantastic. Wow. Are you shy with speaking English? Um, Do you speak English a lot? No. Not so much. No. How how do you learn English? You practice in in school? Um, so where where is Dulikel? No. Yeah, Dulikel is there. Ah, so if I want to walk to Dulikel, mm -hmm. I can walk down here, or do I have to walk back where I came from? I can walk this way, Dulikel. I can walk. Yes. Just down. Okay. I'm gonna try and walk to Dulikel then after here because it looks much closer than where I came from. Oh, I have a sprite, and then we heard a very familiar voice from up the mountain. Oh. There we go. Welcome. I thought you weren't going to make it before the sun's down. Here we go. Ooh. Now we're talking. What's this? Dinner is served. That looks amazing. Food. <laughs> what is it? Is it town food? <laughs> tamang food? Tamang food? Oh, it's a, it's tamang a culture. Food. Tamang culture. All it's, right. a different, it's a different style. We can roll with that. Downhill Doggo, do you want some tamang food? Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's a yes. Yeah. He says yes to everything. So, yeah. Well, let's sit and eat here then. And then we, yeah, we can finish up and talk about why I went on this like crazy cycling slash trek to begin with. So. I don't need it. No, it's okay. I'll have a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> All right. Awesome, huh? This is amazing. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. <laughs> All right. Finally, we come to the point of this video. So, Pradeep got help from Sunil's foundation, the Leo Shrestha Foundation. I'll put some videos, if, if this is your first time hearing about this, I'll put some videos here uh, that I've done with Sunil before, interviews with him if you want more information. But uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the success story that is Pradeep. So how, how exactly did he find your foundation? How did you find him? So in Bhaktapur Cancer Hospital, there is some social workers who checks out for if the, some of the cancer kids, they ran out of funding. So that's how they found us. They found a social worker and they just social worker brought him to our our flat in uh, Arlene Miskali Memorial Flat. And then he Bhaktapur. moved into your flat? Yeah. That, so you yeah. 
funded his uh, cancer treatment and his stay at yeah and his mother I'm open to say na I bai bai was in uh, mother and him we just they stayed there uh, but he came towards the end some children come towards the beginning and then they ran he had already started the cancer treatment yeah he was towards the end and they needed help so we said okay let's get in so and the help is because there is a limit here to how much you you get um, uh, towards from funding from the government for your yes. cancer treatment so so um, yeah very briefly then before I let you you to speak a little in mm -hmm. your native tongue and we'll put subtitles you can imagine you saw how hard it was for me to to, to travel here I mean we're up here in the in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. I mean you you walk one hour to school right mm -hmm. so I mean f imagine like trying to pay for expensive cancer treatment or even going to a hospital um, like it's 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 just impossible up here so without Sunil funding a flat for them to stay in and their family so they can be together during chemo uh, I mean this would be it would be impossible uh, not only because of lack of funds but also it just it wouldn't work so I mean you you your foundation the Leo Shretta foundation really goes above and beyond here and does everything and remember there is no um, you don't have any overhead you, you don't take a salary no, in fact this no costs salary. you a lot of money and we actually pay for all these uh, transaction fee we pay for, there's no salary for everyone us. is we a volunteer that and works we also for you. we also don't have to donate from ourselves and your time and all that oh so. definitely I spent a lot of time for this one but let me introduce so you. yeah no, I just wanted to now that we have that out of the way let's yeah you too so this yeah. Pradeep Lama and he's newly wed <laughs> and they have a baby today did you bring this guy i did i did <laughs> okay. yeah so you have a you have a, is it a girl or a boy I don't know girl it's a girl yes. but remember you do you remember the name <laughs> namkyo no idea downhill doggo oh downhill oh downhill doggo <laughs> downhill doggo downhill doggo yeah. why is it downhill doggo because <laughs> i picked him up uh, and I started riding downhill on my bicycle with him and it was really comfortable. So I was like, it's a downhill doggo. <laughs> okay, so Pradeep came to us in November, uh, no, July of uh, 20, uh, 2020. And he was there for six months, uh, five months with his mother. He stayed there. And uh, we were able to help him. And he had Noang and Saraswati. They all were together living in Arlen Miskelly Memorial Flat. Um, for for a certain amount of money he came towards the end of his treatment but we were able to help him and he finishes his treatment and he he is doing checkup he's still doing his checkup he's he's doing very well right now and he's doing very well right now for the for the college he's he's in a college right now doing hotel management hotel management helping sunil it saves lives um, so Neil, you're a lifesaver, and no. <laughs> Pradeep, just congratulations, amazing. Thanks. But you know, I just want to thank you guys so much for because people like you and Harold's follower, actually, it's amazing what you guys have supported us. Kids like him, and right now we have 122 kids. You guys did all of these. It's not me. I handle 100 percent on me. More, more kids can be saved. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Do you want to sign off? Bye. Yeah. 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 <laughs> is it okay <laughs> how do you say signing off in Nepali uh, like you go bye 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 So even women work here with infants on their back making brick. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Do we have a deal? <laughs> All right. Okay. Down. Stop. I don't know what that is. Let me see. Are you selling? Is it old bullets, maybe? Why? What's so funny, ladies? <laughs> Hello. What's? Are you guys having a drink? Huh. 
think they're laughing at me talking to those old people. Yeah. This is a miracle. Oh, he loves you. <laughs> bye 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 bye. Oh man, sad. Very heavy. You are like me. Yeah. Best man. Best man. You're the best man. Ooh, my last moments with downhill doggo. Now he's shaking a bit. I don't know if it's because he's cold or scared or... I don't know much about dogs to be honest. I'm a cat man. But uh, yeah, anyway. So they grow potatoes up here. They grow wheat. They grow corn. It's been very... Uh, man, I don't have any battery. I mean, I'm... Getting two minutes in here, I'm lucky if I get that in. Uh, but it's there's so many things we're talking about off camera. Like it's a, such an interesting story, amazing that he survived, and uh, wow, really inspiring. Also this location, their house, so it's a family home. Like this has been passed down generation to generation. So it's they've been here for a long time, but they're building a new house. Uh, and hopefully it's not too cold up here for downhill doggo. Anyway, signing off. I guess I'm gonna have to come back here and really show you the life up here.